Hey guys, hello and welcome to another WooCommerce tutorial brought to you by the team at Divi Engine. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get live alerts on your mobile device from your WooCommerce store. Now you're not going to need any crazy third-party plugins or anything, we're going to be using stock WooCommerce and just the application you download to your cell phone or tablet. Now, as time has progressed, people are increasingly shopping online, and this is not any different for store owners. They're taking their businesses online, like restaurants, any service type of business, and they're getting online orders. But the nature of those businesses require that the owners are responsive and that they get orders ready for customers when they either come in for appointment or come in to pick up a takeout order. So today, with this cool new tool that is entirely free, you're gonna be able to set your customers up with an awesome tool that will make their business run more smoothly. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first step is gonna be is to download the Order Alert app from your favorite app store. I'm gonna be using an iPhone here today. So what I'm gonna do is launch my app store here, and then I'm gonna go over to the search area. Once there, I'm gonna type in Order Alert, and Order Alert for WooCommerce should pop up. Open up that, and then go ahead and download the application. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and open the application. And then we're gonna enable the notifications. And that's it for now. All right, so for the next step, we need to generate an API key that the application will use. So we have to head back to the back end of our WordPress install, and we'll go to WooCommerce, Settings, and then we'll hit Advanced. And then in Advanced, we're gonna hit this REST API button here at the top. Now we hit Add Key. And now what we want to do is give it a descriptive name, but it doesn't really matter what you name it, just this is for your reference. You're gonna select the user, and then you're gonna set this to read write. That part is important for the permissions, and then hit generate key. And that's it for this step. So connecting the application to your WooCommerce install is super easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna scan this QR code you see on the screen. So let's go and open up our mobile application again. And then you'll see the screen where we were last. And you're going to go ahead and click Continue. And then you're going to accept the terms and continue again. Now scan that QR code. And now you need to put in that email address that's associated with the account that we saw on the previous page. And then next up, you just need to put the URL for where your WooCommerce is installed. So if it is installed on myurl.com, you'll just put myurl.com. And after that, you just click the Done and Continue button. It'll think for a second, and then it should tell you that you're connected. Now that you can see, no orders yet, but we will test one in a second here in a moment. Browsing through the app, you can see that there are different areas. You can stream, you can add different stores. The stream will have all your live orders coming in. Here you select what type of order statuses you want to see. All right, so now it's time to test all of this, and that's super easy also. All you need to do is log into the back end of your WordPress install again, and then you're gonna go over to WooCommerce, Orders. You're gonna click on Add Order, and then you'll just go down and set the status for the payment to completed, then add an item. Now you need to make sure there are items in your database here. I'm gonna add shoes, well, shirts, oops. I mean shoes. Get that out of there and hit add once we've selected it. And then all we need to do is go ahead and click on the create button and that'll create our new order. And now let's see what happens. Boom, there you go. We've got a notification coming in on our mobile device pretty much the moment the order was created. That's awesome stuff and you've just added a lot of value for your clients. Now guys, I told you it was easy, but you didn't think it was this easy, did you? This is an awesome tool and it'll be adding a lot of value to your clients and it makes you more marketable as a dev if you're building sites for clients. Your clients are gonna be stoked and I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you guys love this tutorial or have suggestions for other ones, please comment on the video or comment on the post 
on the Divi Engine website. That's it from me. This is Roby for the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.